Tree Lake, uh, just east of, east of Nashville. And we're out here today evaluating our fish attractors. We've got, I'd say, close to 40 sites that we have put uh, anywhere from about 35 to 50 pipe fish attractors at uh, over the past couple of years. Uh, we've got about uh, 20 sites that we're evaluating as part of this research study. Just trying to see if they're uh, drawn in fish or not. You know, I'd, I'd venture to say that most state agencies do fish attractor work now, but there's hardly any that I've seen that actually evaluate what they do. And so when we started doing the pipe structures several years ago, I thought, you know, why don't we actually see if they're working, if we want to continue doing that program. If they're not working, then we need to change up what we're doing. When we, when we get to one of our buoyed fish attractor sites, we we want to make a comparison. We try to pick a control site that is anywhere from 20 to 50 yards away from where the attractors are, and same depth, uh, same you know same uh, same bank. And the reason we do that is because we want to compare apples to apples. Uh, the idea with fish attractors is that they, uh, the concept is that they, they draw in fish from all around them to make them kind of like fishing in a barrel. Uh, we want to make make it easier for anglers to catch fish, and so that's why we choose the adjacent control site to see if it's working. Oh, we're not. Yeah, first guy. first sight today. Um, the first 10 seconds of shocking, we shocked up one that was almost seven pounds, which is a great fish for old hickory, so that was super exciting to see that. And then we also had an attractor site that we, we, we shocked and evaluated last week, and we got three five pound largemouth off it. So, you know, these, these sites aren't just for uh, bluegill fishermen. I, honestly, I hoped it would be a little bit better, but I'm not disappointed with what we've seen. We, we, we've had some real good sites where, you know, we consistently get crappie on them, consistently get bass, especially the bluegill and brim species for anglers that like to chase those. You know, I hope in the future with, with these attractors and others that they'll continue to get better and better, maybe with time. And uh, so we'll see, see where it goes.